Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, in today's episode, we've got quite a few things going on. Firstly, I'm going to obtain some velos. This is the strat that I use. You get up right up and close. If it slaps you, you're a bit too close, you need to back off, wait for it to go into turret mode, and then get underneath its head. And then you can just pummel it with tranks. Um, if it does ever get out of this and slaps you, then you just back off again, wait for it to enter turret mode, and go back in. So there's quite a few that I'm going to be taming here. I'm trying to get a really good start. So I'll just show you how it's done. Coming up in the video, we're going to be doing some Drake eggs with a tech suit. We're going to be getting some mag eggs on Genesis. And we're also going to be doing some Bronto farming to get that sweet, sweet crystal. Really hope you're liking the season so far. If you do, click the like button and why not subscribe so you don't miss out on the next one. Right, let's get into it. Right, spawn over on Aberration. Um, I'm just crafting up some dust so I can go down on my tech suit. You do need all five pieces on your tech suit to be powered with element to protect you from the radiation. Um, I do try and keep a right shield on me as well, just in case I do get backed into a corner with the drakes. Um, some of the prim suits, tech suits, have some quite good dura, but as soon as you start taking damage from tames, then yeah, your time's numbered. Um, so what I normally do is I head over to the spine on the right hand side and then just drop straight down. Right at the bottom you're going to see like a, a giga skeleton. You want to keep that to your left and head just at the top right of where you can see now. And that's where the number one drake pit is. There is one behind us on the other side but this one's the easiest to navigate and the easiest to use your vision to get out so you don't get absolutely wrecked by the drinks. So now we're down at the nest level. Um, we'll be looking on the left and the right. First of all, I'm going to go through to see if I can find a high level egg. And then if I get time, I'll go and get some low level eggs to maybe tame some basilisks. But that high level egg is the first thing that I'll be looking for. I am checking my Jura every now and then as well. So this is an egg in its nest at level 15. Yep, I'm not touching that right now. Let's go on to the next one. As long as you don't pick up an egg, you're not going to aggro a drake. As soon as you do, that's when the drakes become aggro. Obviously, if you get right up in their face, they're gonna they're gonna try and kill you. So one, four, five. That's a decent egg. May come back for that. Obviously, the cap on drake eggs is 180. So ideally, I want to be getting somewhere close to that. But that one, four, five is a decent fallback if I can't find any. So over this little bridge section. A few people may know on your left hand side is a little pit, a little cave where you can get element ore as well to save you going onto the surface. It's a lot safer than going on the surface with the, uh, the scorching sunlight imminent and could cause massive death. So again we've got level 100 there, I'm going to check that because I've got that 145 to back up on. What's this one? Level 55, yep, yeah, rejected. I mean, I could grab them all, so I can try and tame some basilisks, but I'd rather not get swarmed in a, basically, a primi taxi. Okay, what's this one? Oh, 60, nope. And this one. It's a level 90. Okay, so is that one four five still looking like it's the best? Is this the one I had before? It was 60, wasn't it? That's the level 25, nope. 145's looking like it is, guys. I'm 
just check down here real quick. Nothing. Maybe there's a nest at the back. Let's just check that out if there is. Yep. Ta da! This is what I'm talking about. I'm gonna get ready to grab this and go. <laughs> Didn't even grab it. Let's go! Time to get out of here. The drakes are gonna get angry. Best to try and keep your height because the, da the drakes will dash and get you. Um, and damage your Jura, which then means, yeah, you're not going to be able to fly, you're not going to be able to get out, and it's a big rip. Keep your height, and let's get out of here. First Drake's the most important, in my opinion. Drake's means you can get Reapers, and even the Tech Drake Saddle is an OP piece of kit eventually down the line. So, yeah, definitely going to need a Drake. Okay, seem to have lost our groom. I'm not going to risk it. Let's see, maybe. Let me see if that last 145 egg is still here. Can't see any drakes around right now. Where is that egg? Is it this one? No, it's level 50. And there's one corner out, there's one's left hand side. Right hand side, I was coming in. No. Let's just be gone. Now. So the Giga Carcass is a landmark that I normally revert back to to make sure 100% the rock drakes have lost aggro. And just beneath me here is where all the black pearls spawn. Um, if you could get yourself a mining drill and mine them, you're going to get a lot more from the um, Black Pearls harvest than just grabbing it by hand. So I'm just going to nip back in, see what else I can find. So here's that 145 egg. I'm gonna grab that and hightail out of here. Let's go. See, Drake coming in. Go, 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 go. Definitely need to get out of here. I've got two decent Drake eggs now. So let's go. Other things to do, let's get these hatched and saddled, leveled, healed, everything. Because eventually we're gonna need these for the our boss fights with an unlock tech pod. That's the goal. As I said, doing a bit of Bronto farming on Genesis. If you go into the Lunar Biome with a Bronto leveled in melee, or even not leveled in melee, you're going to get a decent amount of stuff. Look at all that on the left hand side crystal, fiber, wood, thatch, just with one swing. I, you can't go wrong. For the time it takes to tame a Bronto on a boosted server, you've got to do it. You have to do it. Look at that. Easy farm. Right, so while I was on Genesis, I thought I'd go and get some mag eggs. Walks down into the pit. You can obviously go down in other ways, but I thought the safest way for me would be to walk down with one of our giggers. Now, how am I going to get down? Go around. Nope. Yeet. Remember to jump off before you hit the ground, otherwise you're going to take big damage. Hope you're, yep, cool, and get back on. Right, let's clear the pit. The volcano is about to erupt. Let's get out. I think I might need to kill it. A mag first, yep, it's over here. The one that set me on fire. Oh, I can't even turn around, let's go. Eat, 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 that's it. Right, 
Let's do a biome teleport real quick. Hopefully I get in. Should be okay. Let's just farm these uh, pearls while we're here. Can't say no to a free few. Few free black pearls. Um, I'm not taking the element with me, but those black pearls are okay. So I've got five eggs in that batch. Uh, whether they're low level, high level. F low level females could be used as breeders. Um, but yeah, let's uh, get out of here. Just about made it. Right, back at base now. Gotta hatch up these eggs. Have I got enough ACs or do I need to put some on? Too cold. Let's get some more down. I can pick them all up afterwards. Uh, we have 30 minutes on a lot of these structures like this. Here we go. Claim, claim, claim. We've got some good levels, a uh, mixture of decent health and decent melee. Um, obviously everything's boosted, so a decent melee after imprint is going to give you a lot of a lot of resources. Um, we do find that it's comparable to using a mining drill, um, but obviously if they're bread lines let further down the line, we're going to be able to harvest more than the mining drill. And that's about it today guys. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, make sure you like, comment and subscribe and make sure that you've got those bells turned on for the notifications for the next video. Gen 2 coming up. Yeah!